I've got a bunch of interesting chemicals here. This one is kind of reddish purpley, and if I add a little bit of this chemical to it, it turns yellow. And now if I add some of this chemical to it, it turns back to that purplish. Unless, of course, I add more of this chemical, which makes it yellow again, and the whole cycle can be repeated. So what are these mysterious chemicals? Well, this is actually just beet juice from boiling the beets. This here is sodium hydroxide from Drano, and this was carbonated water, essentially just club soda. So what happens is beet juice happens to be an indicator solution, and if it's acidic, it goes purpley, and if it's basic, then it goes yellowy, and Drano is essentially a very strong base, and club soda, being carbonated water, forms carbonic acid, and depending on whether I add more carbonated water or more of this, the solution goes basic or acidic, and that turns the color. And interestingly, none of these chemicals are actually toxic. Well, this is obviously not toxic. This we eat, and this is sodium hydroxide, which is corrosive in high concentration, but it's actually an ingredient that's used in making German pretzels. What actually got me started with these experiments is cleaning out containers that have blueberries in them, and there's always some juice from the blueberries, and it's always kind of reddish. But as I rinse out the container, it would always turn a little bit bluish. See, now it's changed colors because the uh, water from the city is actually a little bit more on the basic side and the blueberry juice is only red if it's acidic. And I can return that redness by adding a little bit of acid to it. And you can see now it's becoming more red again. And let's make it more basic by adding a bit of Drano. The Drano, of course, is a very strong base. Hmm, I wonder what happens if I put the Drano straight in the blueberries. Look! Greenberries! I don't think I want to eat that. Very green though, wow. 